so I wanted to tell you that I am participating in a group challenge by Rosa at Sun and Moon Arts and her hashtag for this month is singing the blues. So um, I've decided that I want to continue this series and I've decided that I want to make this series very personal for me because collaging for whatever reason is very personal for me. I don't know, it's this textural, very hands-on and, and I just connect with it really well. So, um, so for this one, Singing the Blues, I had to think about it, but while I was thinking about it, I had a memory from my childhood. So I'm going to share that with you as you watch me put this collage together. I'm starting with this piece of paper that has some chipped paint look on it. This piece of paper represents the very old neighborhood that I lived in when we had first moved to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Now, um, also to represent the beach, I'll be tearing out some papers from a magazine. I don't really know if I want her in the picture because she does not represent me as a child. So we'll just remove her. We're gonna make some, some pieces that we wanna work with. I'm not cutting, I'm tearing. I enjoy tearing. For me, um, I enjoy the non-perfection of tearing and I don't really care how, uh, how it turns out. Uh, this, because it's a cabin, I'm going to leave as is because there's not enough room for me to really tear off the portions of it. So this is an old cabin and there's a story behind this old cabin. And I have another one here um, and we'll get to that later, but we're going to leave those as they are. And then there's a story about this too, but this I can tear. This is enough of uh, space on it that I can at least tear the sides. And the story about this man uh, is that the first time I ever heard the double bass was on the front porch of an old cabin in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, but we'll get to that. So he's over here. I'm going to put, actually, I'm going to tear the bottom because I there's enough, there's enough to work with. Don't really want to tear the top, so going to put that over here. Um, I have another photo that I found. I could definitely, this represents um, the area in all of these cabins actually represent the area that I lived in when we first moved there. Later on we moved um, to a different place and it was um, across the street from the beach which is where this will come in. So we've got this one ready. Um, I have a few other pieces. This says South Carolina on it, which is why I tore this out. So let me tear the bottom. I have this. This is a bowl that is empty. It has bugs in it. And we'll get to why, why is that part of my collage. I'll share that um, also, but that definitely must go in it. That's not an option that has to go in. Also, I just wanted to add, if you would like to check out all of the other participants with this hashtag, they will be listed in my description box. So I took a lot of these pictures out of magazines, and I know that when we use decoupage on magazine paper, sometimes it wrinkles it, but the beauty of this sort of artwork is that it doesn't matter if it's wrinkled. So again, like I did the first time, I'm going to tell a story with this particular creation. Uh, that's what I did on the last challenge is I, my piece of art was, ended up being a story about, you know, about my life. Now that the prep work has been done, I am going to begin collaging and since I like to focus and not talk while I'm collaging I will go ahead and voice over this part. So like I mentioned before uh, this is going to be a little bit of a I'm sharing a memory from childhood uh, which is you know it's gonna end up being kind of a story if you will. So I chose this green paper here which was from some pages of books because the place where I lived in South Carolina 
had it was it was it had a lot of trees and um, so there was just these tall trees and a lot of shade so that's what this green tree here represents now in the upper left I have placed a very bright colored picture of a it's like a store that represents when I lived in Virginia and uh, my life was fairly normal when I lived in Virginia and then once we left there everything changed with these next pictures I am now constructing what my life was like in South Carolina and just so you know this story is going to share a good memory and then some tough memories so what we have here is uh, you see the little shack with the front porch and I have a picture of an old man playing a guitar on his porch and then I also have some blues singers and so that's where our hashtag comes in so my memory that I'm sharing in this part of my collage is that um, me and my sister and I can't remember if it was my stepbrother as well I felt like there was more than just me and my sister but at any rate we were going for a walk and we were walking through our neighborhood and uh, it, like I said it had these small homes old old homes and there was this man on his porch and he was so excited that we were walking by and he said to us hey do you want me to play a song for you and so I was like well yeah so he brings his double bass out onto the porch which is the first time I had ever seen that instrument or heard that instrument and he brought it out and he was so excited to have an audience we were kids I mean I was like I don't even know third grade and um, so he was so excited to have an audience and he played and with just excitement and he played this music for us and I feel like there was somebody on the other side of the porch with a harmonica and they were just having a good old time it would be my guess now that I'm an adult and I understand life more it would be my guess that they used to be blues singers uh, in their youth and because that's an expensive instrument and you don't just happen to have one of those you you would have probably had to have been playing it you don't just you know when you live in, in I would consider an impoverished area you, you don't just go out and buy one of those instruments I think you something you've had passed down in your family or if you used it for your livelihood at some point in time so as you can see I added the that's a little statue of a guy holding a double bass now I am adding the green bowl this green bowl is empty except for some bugs in it and this green bowl well I put it down but it's coming back so I'm just gonna talk to you about it this green bowl represents hunger and we were hungry we were really hungry and um, so my sister and I and my sister's a year older than me she and I would um, go out and collect glass bottles and turn them into I think it was the 7-eleven and we would get five cents for each glass bottle so we would go rummaging around and collecting these bottles and we would turn them into the store and then we would be very very excited to get a candy bar and we did that quite a lot and it though not nutritious we were very excited to get a candy bar and it was something to put in our stomachs so you see under the green bowl I have put a picture of a stomach and intestines and actually the green bowl I have it lined up and you can't see it here um, but I have it lined up so that that green bowl is kind of pouring into the stomach there and of course that all represents our hunger and then I put 
a small clip that says digestive system there. So that's the story of, um, of, of how my sister and I, you know, just did what we needed to do to kind of survive that situation. Now I am painting the word hunger over top of this part of my collage. In the lower right of the collage, I adhered the picture of the beach. So here's the other part of my story. Uh, we moved from that particular area to a different area. We rented a house and it happened to be across the street from the beach. And I used to basically escape over to the beach. I, I can remember just going over there and loving it so much. I would, I would just be by myself and I would go over and just sit down and watch the people and watch the waves and just be free. And I loved that so much. And you know, I realized only a few years ago, that is probably why I love the beach so much even today because it represented freedom, escape, peace and quiet, um, just getting away from all of it that I was living in. And so I loved the beach then and I love the beach now. I ended up also painting the word escape over the beach scene, which I have flipped the paper over and I'm adding some ink. I'm inking around actually with some light pink and then I'll go over some of the areas with some dark as well. But at any rate, um, the word escape, you can see it now in the bottom center. Uh, so I taped, I, I'm sorry, I painted that over uh, the beach part because that's what that represented to me. And while I am creating this collage, I'll share a, a cute little story, is when I used to go over to that beach, there was apparently, I think it was a hotel, it was a resort, something like that. And I can remember going over to like the little tiki bar and just sitting down at the tiki bar. And I remember the bartender um, gave me Shirley Temple, at least one Shirley Temple, uh, maybe more. And I, I'm pretty sure I did this more than once. He probably thought I was a child of one of the patrons of the hotel or resort, uh, but it was wonderful for me. I, I can remember sitting there on the little stool and talking and him giving me a Shirley Temple. So that was a wonderful memory that I can share about this part of my life. I have pictures coming up of my completed project. I hope that you have enjoyed watching me create this very personal collage. Here is a picture of the whole collage and then after that I will give you close-ups of parts of it. I hope that you enjoyed watching me create this collage today. Thanks for watching. See you soon.